So we are going to review this uh, record called Kukui. Kukui, it's, um, it's alcohol, it's just alcohol from made from a plant or whatever. It's alcohol at the end of the day. Kukui, it's alcohol. So Kukui, it's a very um, amorphous record, I guess you could say that the other way. And it features break core rhythms and electronics and bleeps and bloops but it has uh, this thunderphonic side of the spectrum with um, traditional and folk and latin and alternative kind of music and dipped in in a bunch of uh, i don't know like yeah like <laughs> acid as in acid the, the corrosive acid it's very very <laughs> you will find traditional folk music on this record but it's all transformed it's morphed into something completely different the fourth track in particular is incredible he has this very psychedelic keyboards and the atmosphere is complete uh, completely ominous completely ominous it's, it's it's very charged it's very charged and there is not just a play with sound but also rhythm <sighs> the camera is so high that i have to do this this is embarrassing anyway something like that like this like this like this there isn't really just ominous or dark music for example uh, for example you have it Cada tanto, you hear cada tanto, it's more sad and more pensive. The ninth track has some hip hop with very fast, fast rapping, but it's very, very obscured by the noisy, greedy mix. It paints a bit of a, of an urban cynical lens on the world or a cynical sensation because you can, you can see what, what they're telling you because they, lyrics are obscured you just can't feel it so it's a very weird world in a way and the 14 track it's a very broken a very sad ballad this kind of music feels like that kind of stuff published by the caretaker where it feels like broken music from long ago but it has this weird dimension added to it so it's not just music from a lost time but also from a lost world. The 15th track is more relaxed, more low-key. It develops this weird electronic world around it. While it's a very chill track, you still feel trapped in this otherworldly dimension. So yeah, this album is actually very interesting. I didn't know what to expect because, you know, Plunder Phonics and experimental rock you could go anywhere with that kind of music and stuff you know what i will say this album is about is about the reconstruction of a weird uh, unknown world or dimension using this kind of music uh, music from not just psychedelic weird ominous electronic music but also folk, traditional Latin American music. If you listen to the record as a Latin American, uh, if you listen to this as a Latin American speaker, you will find out that kind of Latin American music that you have known since you were a kid. It's more and transformed into this weird beast. But if you listen to it as a song from someone from anywhere else in the world, you will find it even more, probably more, weird or more unknown so I, I say that it's worth to check out even more because it's not really lyrically based either it's just sound so there isn't that much of a language barrier either. and i personally really like that i like albums that paint worlds to me i like albums that give me a vivid image of things who will i not recommend it to i guess if you are looking for a more pop or more uh, funny, witty kind of taking plunder phonics. You might not like this because it's not the kind of music that uh, that is looking to make a nice or a lyrics because it has break chord as well. A lot of. I was thinking the rating 
greasy cock, a greasy cock, cog, 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 because it's not just, it doesn't have that just mechanical part, but also that greedy, dark, you don't want to touch it, you just want it to let it work, kind of greasy cock kind of feeling. So yeah, uh, for uh, Kukui, uh, greasy cock sounds fine. I like, I really like the record. And now we have to talk about Peloso 72. 72. What the hell? Is, is the frame rate low? Is the, the frame rate is lower. Like, I think I get more, less FPS with less lighting, but I think there is no lighting. I could turn on the light bulb, but I really like to turn, to experience that kind of dim, foggy feeling about that you get at this time of day when the sun is going down but it's still not down and I have like a schedule in my in my light bulb uh, uh, time to fade in so yeah I, I just can't turn on the lights right now I'm sorry but don't worry, I will try to record it earlier before ne ne the next videos, I guess, I guess. The Loso 72 is a lot more sound based. Instead of making tracks that focus on atmosphere, or just do sampling to develop a sound on itself, the Loso 72 has songs with this Latin sound influence, like the percussions, the rhythm, and it adds a lot of this weirdness into it. You know, in a way, it's actually what I expected uh, people like Omar Rodriguez to do. But aside from Francis the Mute, he never really combined the two together, the, the Latin American world and the uh, oniric, uh, otherworldly world of his music. They were all, most of the time apart from each other. Veloso 72 builds up in its own weirdness. I already said greedy, I think applies here in Veloso 72 as well, but since there are there are songs here instead of just tracks with an atmosphere, they get a lot more personality to it. The mood of the album is probably what you could say casual, but dystopian. All the songs, well being songs, still feel beautiful, beautifully broken, beautifully broken, beautifully broken, beautifully broken. Sometimes feel like cut apart and uh, like they're trying to move but they can't and it's a very humane sensation. I don't know, it feels very earnest to appreciate, appreciate weird sounds that will be considered ugly and use them to make more Latin American music. And there are lots of great samples here as well. I remember some be very playful scenes in tracks five, track five. There are tracks that are still very scary, like the, the Kokui album, like track seven. And overall, the record gives you that sense of unease. It's weirdness, not for the sake of weirdness, but weirdness as a casualty of the rest of the music that comes from it. It doesn't have as much of a, I guess, world building. <laughs> world building is a word for music because, yeah, Kokui is more atmosphere, but this one is more song. So, yeah. I think they are two nice parts of a whole. I have several words, several words to describe this, but I don't have one that describes it all. A bus stop in the middle of the desert. A bus stop in the middle of the desert, yeah, because why there will be a bus stop in the middle of the desert? But it's there, and you're waiting, you're just waiting in the middle of the desert. So one is a greasy cock, and the other is a uh, we stop in the middle of the desert. That makes it completely clear, okay? I hope that makes sense because I don't... I, I think I'm limited by language by now. I prefer to use images. Am I a limit of myself? Do I work better with images than languages? Because, because you know, my brain works? Or is an issue with language. No, I'm pretty sure it's an issue with language. <laughs> it's still a very kind of amorphous and broken and weird record. So if you're looking for some more normal Latin American um, 
pop or Latin American alternative music, you will not find it here. It's more broken. It presents to you in a very ugly way, but it's an ugly way that you that you get attached to. You can listen both. We, we have atmosphere and we have songs. There is everything for everyone here. And I guess that's it by now. I'm talking at five frames per second. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just kind of, I procrastinate a lot. I procrastinated a lot today with putting images on my walls. <laughs> that took longer than what I expected. Anyway. Oh, I know. I, I, I know what I can add. I feel that something's missing, but I can add something here. Tell me what you think about this shirt I have on. Do you like the colors? Do you like, I like the patterns. I not like just the, that it's colors, but it has a lot of colors. So yeah, what, what do you think of this shirt? And, and tell me, and tell me what did you have of lunch today or breakfast? It's more likely that you already had breakfast if you watch this. The breakfast is not so... Okay, tell me what did you have for breakfast? Tell me what do you have for breakfast? And tell me what do you think of this shirt? <sighs> Goodbye, my beautiful souls. Stay safe.